video of uh, Going Strong in conversation with senior advocate uh, Mr. Fali Nariman. Uh, I would request him to uh, bring out two very interesting instances uh, that he has narrated in his book uh, regarding his uh, days as a member of parliament in the Rajya Sabha. The first one concerns uh, Mr. Mani Shankar Ayer's remarks uh, when somebody spoke about uh, the number of languages which uh, the then Prime Minister Narsimha Rao uh, could uh, converse in. Yeah. This was written in connection with the consciousness of being a member of parliament. <coughs> you see, the consciousness of being a member of parliament is very important for every member of parliament. And when he or she in time becomes a minister or some other official, he or she always desires to excel in performance. And therefore, I had seen yes. this happening during my term in parliament. In my sojourn in the Rajya Sabha for six long years, I found in one person, Manishankar Ayer, then a Congress MP from Tamil Nadu, later a minister in the Congress-led United Pro 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 Progressive Alliance, UPA, government which came to power in late May 2004 and continued in office for ten long years, who spent vast amounts of time working on answers to questions in Parliament. He then answered the question in Parliament fully, but at times too fully. He would be so well prepared while answering the questions and the supplementaries that followed, they could go far beyond the sense scope of the question and give answers that were not even sought and so take up a lot of question time. So much so, that the chairman, then Vice President Vairon Singh Shekhawat, who was on the, in a hurry to finish the formidable list of questions between 11 a.m. and 12 noon, that was the ritual, yes. would sometimes explain in ex say, exclaim in exasperation, Are abhi bas karo, abhi bas karo. <laughs> <coughs> which also reminds me of the other aspect of Manishankaraya, the qu question yes. which you mentioned. Not just the fine parliamentarian, but the one with a caustic tongue. His comments could be quite acerbic and sarcastic. He was of course one of the most entertaining of speakers. But he was at his best in 2005, when someone in the house, in my presence, remarked that the late Prime Minister P. V. Mersima Rao who was Prime Minister from June 21, 19, uh, from June, from June uh, to 23rd December 2004, knew and spoke in 10 different languages. Manishankar Raya's spontaneous response under his breath, but which could be heard all around, was, it was sad that he could not take a single decision in even one of them. <laughs> that, that's something. the origin of Yes, it. generally people believed that he was very slow. That's right. And averse to taking yes. decisions. Yes. 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 Thank you. And uh, the next uh, incident I would request you to recall is uh, the exchange of notes uh, between Pilu Modi and Mrs. Indra Gandhi. That yes. also finds mention in your book. Yes. You see, I have written in my book to explain the joys of being a member of parliament. Yes. <laughs> One of the joys of being. And the enjoyment of office of an MP <coughs> is not only the financial perks, etc., yes. but other perks. To enjoy the experience of being an MP, MP he or she must have a sense of humor and more occasionally a sense of fun as well. Okay. I recall in the book that when Pilu Modi, he was a portly gentleman who you had not seen, but one of the most lively of all members of parliament, who would always interject, would always speak 
and speak with great learn, learning and great diction. Pilu Modi and Prime Minister Indira Gandhi were members in the 5th Lok Sabha, March 1971 to January 1977. They often crossed swords, okay. but they never pointed their swords at one another. <coughs> they also sometimes lost their cool. Once in the house, on a matter of some importance, Pilu Modi wrote, and he wrote on parliamentary note paper, to the Prime Minister expressing concern about some particular measure or resolution that had just been adopted. adopted. And he began, as we begin, dear so-and-so. So he wrote, dear IG, IG standing for Indira Gandhi. And then he signed off the P, no, the letter with his own initials, PM, Pilo <laughs> Modi. She was also a prime, prime minister. The cheek of the man. But was Mrs. Gandhi affronted? Was she angry? No, not at all. Promptly came her reply again. Again on parliamentary note paper. The contents of which are irrelevant. But what counts is the spirit in which it was written. She began a letter. Dear PM. Yes. And he signed <laughs> off IG. <laughs> How Great. gracious, how gracious. Yes. gracious. And yet the two were the most astute political rivals at the time and they indulged in this light-hearted trust and fairy. But she only goes to show you, and this is why I say that I enjoyed my sojourn in parliament. Uh, there's so much fun if that's what you want. And, uh, and you I must tell you, this sense of fun was instilled in me and that's a very great quality which I must mention to you all. When I watched and listened to one of the great statesmen of his time, in my view, the greatest Indian statesman of my time in parliament, Mr. Atal Vihari Bajpai, the former Prime Minister of India. Yes. I recall one incident which I must relate to you. You see, it is customary that when a Prime Minister returns from a foreign visit, Yes. The first thing he or she does on his or her return is to make a statement in each of the houses of parliament if they are in session. And MPs handpicked by the chair are asked to put questions to the prime minister so that further information can be elicited. On one such occasion, as a nominated member, I was one of the fortunate few to be so named by the chair, Mr. Be who was the vice president, Behran Singh Shikhawat along with two members belonging to different political parties. One of the two gentlemen posed his couple of questions. I too asked a couple of questions to Prime Minister Vajpayee, who was sitting in his allotted seat opposite in the house. And the third MP was the former diplomat turned parliamentarian, Mr. K. Natwar Singh. He belonged to the Congress, which was then in opposition. And his questions were very critical of the government critical of the Prime Minister and full of invective as well. He became a central minister later in Dr. Manmohan Singh's government in May 2004. Natwa Singh spoke in crisp English and this is what he said. Mr. Prime Minister, I have six questions and he set them out one by one and while raising such question, he raised his voice as well. Each question a decibel louder, yes. each time angrier than when he had asked the previous question. Yes. And when Vajpayee got up to answer the question and ultimately came to the six questions proposed by Natwar Singh, I was left wondering how he would deal with the pointed and yes. somewhat inconvenient questions addressed to him. But the Prime Minister spoke in fluent Hindi in response to the questions addressed to him in English. He said, and Natwar Singh was a great parliamentarian, yeah. that he, Vajpayee, had known him for many, many years. He noted that the Congress MP was very intelligent as well and always knew his facts. Yes. And then he added, Lekin unku gussa bod jaldi aajata hai. <laughs> he gets angry very, very quickly. And that yes. riposte, brought the house down yes. 
the six questions remain <laughs> unanswered, having been dissolved <laughs> in laughter. Left. Ajay, Atal ji was an astute statesman to his fingertips, yeah. courageous when required, diplomatic when necessary. He taught me a great lesson in the house that it pays not to be angry or to lose your temper when speaking in parliament. It's always advisable to scotch your opponent with fate praise. praise. This is one of the things I learnt in my six years sojourn in parliament. To disarm your opponent, never do it with anger or derision. Uh, thank you. Here we come to the end of this video. Uh, and in the next video, Senior Advocate Mr. Fali Nariman uh, would uh, explain uh, when he has suggested that there should be regular press release by the judges. Thank you.